everyone, it's Laurie from Quick Scrap Craft, and today I'm going to share with you all the books that I'm reading for February. It's a shorter month. I think I have um, a decent amount of books that I'll probably be able to get through. Some of them are for review and they are on my Kindle. Others are library books or physical copies of books. So I'm really excited to share with you on my to read list. Okay, so let's talk about first the physical books that I'm going to be reading. I was sent a copy of Influence by Sarah Shepard and Lilia Buckingham. Um, this book actually came out on January 5th, so I didn't get a chance to read it and review it before the publication date, but I'm going to be reading it and reviewing it for February. It was billed as um, a mystery it's actually from the best-selling author of Pretty Little Liars. That's Sarah Shepard. Um, and then the other author is actually a 17-year-old actress and social media personality. So the book, um, you could probably figure out by the title, does deal with a girl who uh, her life kind of changes after she makes a viral video. And um, then there are two other characters. Uh, one is a child star who kind of like the other author is now uh, really big on social media. Um, and then there's another girl who is basically a hot mess and they're all like coming together. Um, oh, actually, I think there are four characters. Um, there's another character who's also very perfect on social media. They're all coming together. Uh, it's in California and kind of, I don't know if what kind of what the mystery is. Maybe the mystery is, um, well, it says on the back, someone's going to get burned. I'm not sure. Like, is there a, a murder? Is there a murder? Um, are they just trying to like figure out the mystery of their, their personalities and who they really are in real life as opposed to what they put out on social media? This is for ages 12 and up. Um, so I will do a review and let you know if I think that is a, here they are, if I think that is a, an adequate assessment, um, and what else I think of the book as well. Um, Nell Freudenberger's The Newlyweds. I talked about this one in my big library book haul. Still have it. How many, how many months ago was that that I did that? I don't even know, but I still have it. I'm going to read it for February. It's actually the last library book that was part of that big haul. So I'm going to read it for February. I'm not going to go into it too much. Um, but it's about newlyweds, I guess. <laughs> you can check it out, uh, in the other video that I did. Uh, and then this is also a library book, What Will It Take to Make a Woman President? I was inspired to read this book because of the new uh, after inauguration day, and I was looking up some books about election and how to be more civically engaged for kids, and this book actually came up in the library search list, and I thought, you know what? Maybe I should read it. So it's by Marianne Schnall and actually came out in 2013. So I'm not sure. I mean, obviously we have the first woman vice president, uh, in the, in the White House right now. However, uh, will some of what this book is talking about still be relevant or how will, how have things changed in the seven years since this was published? So I think that'll be, um, I think that'll be quite intriguing to see what has changed and what has not. And then going into all the books that I have on my Kindle, Rethink by Andy Simon. This was something that I had put on my to read list. I can't remember where it was recommended to me, but then there was a giveaway for it and I actually ended up winning this Kindle copy, which I'm really excited about. So you can probably tell from the subtitle, Smashing the Myths of Women in Business, that this book is gonna be um, kind of talking about what people think of women, business leaders, entrepreneurs, what have you, and how those myths, those are just myths. They're not true. And they, it could be um, a little empowering, I think, for women who read this, because sometimes even we ourselves get into a certain mindset of, well, I can't do that. Um, that's not going to work for me. But that's just because that that's, that's what society has been telling us um, we can or cannot do in terms of the business world. So I will definitely do a review of this one, even though like I didn't get it to review. It's just a, a for fun thing, but I will definitely do a review of it. And then I also have The Lost Apothecary. So this is a, an advanced review copy. Obviously, this is not what the cover is going to look like, but I don't have that. It's a novel by Sarah Penner. It's coming out March 2nd. I have been excited about this one since I think Book Expo. Um, I'm pretty sure it was either Book Expo or the speed date, the fall speed 
oops, I can never say it right. The fall book club speed dating reading group guide uh, virtual thing that I did. So I believe I have a blog post about like the books that I'm most that was most excited about from Book Expo or the books I'm most excited about coming out for 2021. This is one of those. It has to do with um, very empowering female characters, strong female characters, a little bit of magic. Uh, witchcraft, maybe a little bit. Um, so I'm really looking forward to reading this one. I Another book that I'm going to be reviewing this month is From This Moment by Kim Vogel Sawyer. It actually comes out, uh, it's supposed to come out February 23rd of this year. So I'll try to have a review done before then. Um, I'm not sure since I am reading it this month, so we'll see. But I'm on the launch team for this one. It's another Waterbrook Multnomah book. And I did review Kim Vo Vogel Sawyer's last book, um, The Librarian of Boone's Hollow, which I really enjoyed. So I have a feeling that I'm going to like this one as well. All right, so if you like uh, murder mysteries, that kind of thing, uh, Ellie Griffith's The Postscript Murders, I have an advanced reader's copy of it as well to review. This one's another one that's coming out on March 2nd, so stay tuned to that one. Um, I think when this book was pitched to me, they were like, if you like Agatha Christie, which I do, you'll like this book. So um, this is also by the author of the Edgar Award winning The Stranger Diaries, which I've never read. Just kind of going through a little bit of here. This is what the back cover will, will sort of look like. Um, but it's about uh, crime novelists who end up turning up dead. Um, and here it is. It even says it's a literary mystery perfect for fans of Agatha Christie. So I was right. Sometimes I forget what has been pitched to me. But anyway, um, and the last book I have to review, here's the cover, is Come Fly the World by Julia Cook. This is nonfiction, and it is about the women of Pan Am. So if you remember... Pan Am was an airline back in, what, like the 60s? Um, so this is a, the story about the, back when they were called stewardesses, <laughs> this is their story. Um, I just thought it would be kind of a fun thing if you're doing like a women's empowerment type of theme for your book club or something. It's, it's Women's History Month in March, right? This book actually is supposed to come out on March 2nd as well. So that's a lot of books coming out right at the beginning of the, mar of the month. So hopefully I will have reviews of all of those uh, early March books so that you can decide whether or not you want to check it out for yourself or check it out from your library. Uh, this is what the back cover is supposed to look like. It's glamour, danger, liberation. So what, um, you know, taking it back to and, and making comparisons to Mad Men, which is a great show, but um, all what, you know, the story of these women, why they decided to, to become stewardesses, what they were hoping to gain from this, from this job um, and, and what they had to, what they had to do to get the job too, I think. Um, so those are all the books that I'm going to be reading for the month of February. If you think one of these books sounds really amazing, let me know about it in the comments and be sure to give this video a thumbs up like so you don't miss out on any more book related content as well as scrapbooking process videos and so much more. I'll see you guys next time. Happy reading.